my God, my all, how can I love thee as I ought? Well, welcome to Wednesday Morning Devotions. Thank you again for joining with us. We're continuing, as you know, to ask that question, what kind of God do we believe in? And how does that affect our relationship with him and inevitably our relationship with one another? Yesterday, we thought about the God who lives in community, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Living and acting in complete oneness and unity. But let's ask a different question this morning. Who's the boss? The Father? The Son? Or is it the Holy Spirit? Let me read from Philippians chapter 2 and verses 5 to 11. Your attitude should be the same as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. For centuries, there was a huge debate within the Western Church about the hierarchy within the Godhead. It was long held that the Father was at the top of the hierarchy. The Son came next, followed a long way back by the Holy Spirit. In fact, for centuries, many churches hardly ever mentioned the Holy Spirit. It was a bit like an award ceremony at the Olympics. The father was in first place, the holder of the gold medal. The son coming in as second, holder of the silver medal. And the Holy Spirit in last place. Unfortunate enough to get on the rostrum with his bronze medal. Interestingly enough, things were seen very differently in the Eastern Church. All the frescoes and icons pictured the three, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as equal, each distinctive, but the same. There was no hierarchy, no gold, silver or bronze. And that's what we read about in these words this morning. Referring to Jesus, the writer says, who being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. Father, Son and Holy Spirit live in community. And that is a community that is based on equality, not hierarchy. We live in a world that's dominated by its understanding of hierarchy. Everyone wants to know who the boss is and who the boss, of course, isn't. It's often embedded in our thinking, our upbringing, and certainly our culture. Of course, in our world today, leadership is very important. We need good and godly leaders in all sectors of the world. And leaders naturally need good and godly followers. That of course is true in the church as much as it's true anywhere else. But if the church is to truly reflect the image of God, it's not a place of hierarchy where certain people are set apart 
and elevated and revered, whilst others are considered less. Yeah, when you look at many churches today, the structures, the physical setup, they communicate a very clear message. Clergy are set apart from the congregation, often physically and certainly in practice. And I'm not just referring here to traditional churches, but in many contemporary churches, where there clearly is a hierarchy. Everyone knows who's the boss, and of course, who isn't. I don't often refer to Baptist principles, but I do believe in one of them, and that is the priesthood of all believers. People may be set apart for particular roles based on their gifting, but in every sense, we are all priests and we are all ministers. In a world dominated by the need for hierarchy, let's see today if we can reflect the equality of the Godhead and affirm and elevate those around us, not to minister over us, but alongside us and with us as we seek to be priests together and to minister together according to our gifting and our callings. Jesus, my Lord, my God, my all, how can I love thee as I ought? Tis God, tis God, the very God, Whose power both men and angels made